we have so many people here creating warmth on this very cold day. And we are glad everybody got here safely. Since for some reason, St. Louis County doesn't know how to plow olives, so we're glad you are all here. And we are here to welcome Miss Scarlett officially <laughs> into the covenant. And we say, Blessed is she who comes in the name of Adonai. And we welcome you this morning. May this home always be a sacred space, O oh God, filled with your presence, dedicated to Jewish life and tradition. And for Scarlet, may this home be your sanctuary, a place where loving arms will cradle you, hands will uphold you, and eyes delight in you. Let this home be filled with love, and here let the heart of parents and children always be turned to one another, here may the bonds of trust and caring keep everyone together as a family. And every person born into this world represents something new, something that never existed before, something that is original and unique. It is up to us to know and to recognize that this new person, that Scarlet is unique in the world. She's a singular character and personality and that there has never been anyone like her before, for if there had been, there wouldn't have been a need for this new life to be here in the world. And so Scarlett, as we gather here to welcome you and name you this morning, we do so with many blessings, and first your grandparents will offer blessing. We are thankful for the blessing you have bestowed upon us. We have been granted new grandchild to love. Start at the next chapter in our family's chronicle. May our grandchild grow up in health and happiness. May her dear parents find much joy in the years that lie before them. O oh God of life, may they raise their child with wisdom and understanding. May they teach her the ways of righteousness, leading her to the study of Torah and the practice of love and kindness. May we too be granted the joy of seeing Scarlet develop all her gifts. <laughs> May we know the joy of helping her fulfill the best that is in her. May we know the joy of passing on to a new generation our values, our stories, and our traditions. That our prayers will have been answered as we share in the joy of our children and grandchildren. Amen. <laughs> On the day you were born, too little too soon, Mommy laid in denial in the hospital room. On the day you were born, how I worried and cried for the daughter we needed to stay safely inside. On the day you were born, 14 weeks before due, we would give anything if it meant saving you. Daddy and Mommy hoped that our girl would be fine. It was now time to meet this small fighter of mine. All the doctors and nurses looking at me with worry, a perfect pregnancy, and now Scarlett's in a hurry. Nurse Miranda said, Mom, her heart rate's slowing down. There is no time to wait. You must deliver now. So at 627, you entered our world, two pounds and three ounces, and our perfect girl. So little, so fragile, nothing like the norm. Our lives changed forever the day you were born. Soon they whisked you away, Daddy rushed to be near. All that mattered to Mommy, our daughter still here. I couldn't go see you, heartbroken and torn, moved to a new NICU the day you were born. The whole family came, so happy to meet you, TJ's baby sister, and our dream come true. Released two days early to be with my love, our miracle sent from the heavens above. There begins our journey and your NICU stay, joy of holding Scarlet on the second day. Mommy and Daddy by your side, always there, then the news that our baby's heart needed repair. Oxygen for breathing, Mommy's milk to grow, our baby the strongest girl will ever know. Blessed with amazing nurses, never felt alone, after 104 days we brought Scarlet home. It's been months since our family and the NICU parted. 
our Scarlet is growing, happy and kind-hearted. Now it's hard to believe that you were born too soon. Our wish for the most, oh sorry, now rolling and laughing the light of the room, it's hard to believe that you were born too soon. Our wish for the most gorgeous daughter on earth, that you know all the beauty that came with your birth. Dear, Dear Scarlet, Scarlet, you gave us far better than Norm on the beautiful, beautiful magical day you were born. Scarlett's first name was given in memory of my Papa Saul Mirowitz. It seems so fitting that our daughter be named after someone who has influenced so many aspects of our life. My Papa has inspired me to be ethical, hardworking, responsible, and brave. I can already see so many of these important qualities in Scarlett. Throughout her NICU journey, she was determined, strong, and feisty. She continues to amaze us with each milestone, and I know my Papa would be so proud. We will continue to instill these important values in her as she grows and tell her many stories about her great papa. Scarlett's middle name, Dylan, is in honor of two very special people, our grandmothers, Dolores and Dorothy. My grandma had eight children. I honestly look up to you so much for being able to handle that. <laughs> You've always been there for me and made sure that I felt supported after Scarlett was born. I know how hard you prayed for her, and we can't tell you how much that means to us. I love getting your cards in the mail, and I look forward to the times we spend together. I'm so thankful that you're able to share in this moment and be a part of Scarlett's life. My grandmother is a fighter. She has a great sense of humor, will do anything for her family, and is a great role model. She led by example by showing the importance of affection and was always your biggest advocate no matter what. Scarlett is so lucky to have three great grandmothers to look up to, and we hope that she takes after all of them. Mike and Michelle, we are so honored to have you be Scarlett's godparents. Jamie and I can always count on you for advice, encouragement, and of course a good time. <laughs> There's so much we want Scarlett to learn from you too. We know that your positive attitude and strength will inspire her throughout her life. We know that she will always have fun when she goes to stay at your house, and that you'll treat her as one of your own. We love you both so much. And we have a little treat from Scarlett to you. Thank you. We also want to thank Matthew for putting countless hours into a video that he made. It just means so much to us that you are so good to everyone in your family. And you're just such a wonderful uncle. We love you. Where's TJ? There TJ. <laughs> it has been an amazing experience watching you become a big brother. You are so caring, nurturing, and thoughtful to your baby sister. We're so proud of the way you look at when you look out for her, play with her, and comfort her. You were put in a very unfamiliar situation and were such a trooper. Whether you were reading Scarlet the Three Little Pigs, giving her her pacifier, driving down to the hospital, sitting in traffic, playing games on her phone, chatting with the nurses, or heading to the sibling playroom, you never once got upset about the situation. We'll never forget taking you out for Mexican at our favorite spot, or hanging out in the rooftop garden, especially on the 4th of July, to watch the fireworks. You've adjusted beautifully to life as a family before, and it brings us such joy to know that you have a sibling to go through life with. <laughs> to our parents, words cannot begin to express our gratitude for all that you have done for us. Thank you for helping maintain a sense of normalcy for TJ, allowing us to go to the hospital at the drop of a hat. Thank you for visiting Scarlett, learning how to feed her, being there for blood transfusions, and holding her when we needed to rest. It is so comforting to know that she had people who love her surrounding her when we couldn't be there. Thank you for rushing to the hospital the second you found out she was being delivered. We couldn't have made it through this difficult time without you by our side. You've taught us how to be loving, supportive parents, and we're so fortunate to pass this down to our children. We love you so very much and feel so blessed to have such incredible parents. I also want to say a special thanks to my mom. 
who practically moved to St. Louis for the summer. I know that you gave up a lot to be here, and I don't know how to ever properly thank you for always putting my hands before your own. You are the absolute best, and I love you very much. Done that for me in ways that I never could have imagined. You put your fear aside to comfort me when I just needed to hear that everything was going to be okay. Whenever you said it, I believed it. You helped me stay positive and continue to be my rock. An experience such as this can either bring two people closer together or it can tear them apart. And I feel so lucky that our marriage has grown even stronger. And then I have such an amazing partner by my side through it all. I love watching you with our children. You're such a hands-on, incredible dad. And my heart melts watching the way Scarlett already has you wrapped around her little, your little finger. Her little finger. <laughs> our family, our family now feels complete and all my dreams have come true. <laughs> Jay, you continue to amaze me more and more each day. Scarlett and TJ are so lucky to have you. You are so attentive to their needs and you work so hard to encourage their growth. You selflessly gave up a job you love to take on the most important job in the world. We have come a long way since we met at IU 2002. You are the missing pieces that make me a better person, and I've never been happier. Our lives are now complete. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Each one of you in this room is here because you are so special to us. We are so blessed to have such an amazing family and friends that we can all consider family. Your support has been incredible, and we truly appreciate everything you've done to be there for our family. Thank you for sharing in our joy today. We look forward to many more happy occasions together, and we love you all. Love you all. Well done. <laughs> May this child's life be blessed with happiness, goodness, and wisdom. May she always seek peace and pursue an end to strife among her fellow human beings. May she be a shining light to all who know her. And may she be courageous. May she courageously do what must be done. Strengthen us to raise our daughter in the path of our Torah and mitzvah. Help us to lead her in the footsteps of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Miriam, Deborah, Hulda, and Esther, in the footsteps of all our ancestors whose deeds continue to shine across the generations of our people. Then shall our daughter bring blessing to her family, her people, and the world. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishani B'Mitzvatah B'Tzivani B'Chavuzeh B'Brit Am Yisrael Blessed are you, Adonai our God, Sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvah and commands us to bring this child into the covenant of our people Israel. And so, as we bestow upon Scarlet her Hebrew name, this is how we welcome her into the covenant. And the beautiful thing is we get to bestow upon her a Hebrew name in both the Ashkenazic and the Sephardic tradition. And she has been named in the Ashkenazic manner for somebody who has passed away, but has been named in the Sephardic manner for someone who is still with us. And in Sephardic tradition, it is the beautiful tradition that they have that those who are living get the opportunity to know the, ch the children for whom they are named. So two very different traditions that we combine today. So Scarlett, we bestow upon you now your Hebrew name and officially welcome you 
into the covenant of the Jewish people. Elohina Belohea Botino Beimo Tinu, Kayeda Tayada Hazut, La Abiha Lima Bei Karesh Ma Be Yisrael, Nataniela de Bora Bat Yitha Vidavida, Zot Hakatada Vidola Tihie Keshem Shenich Nesa La Brit, Kain Tikanes La Tora Ulukha Uma Asim Tovim. God of our mothers and our fathers, sustain this child through her parents' loving care, and let her be known among our people Israel by the name of Nataniela Devorah, Scarlet Dillon. May her name be a source of joy to her and inspire her to serve our people and all humankind. May her parents rejoice in her growth of body and soul, and as they have brought her, their daughter, into the covenant, so may she with wisdom and so may they with wisdom and patience lead her to a life filled with Torah, the blessing of learning and community, chupa, a loving relationship worthy of God's blessing, and ma'asim tovim, the pursuit of good deeds. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Sorry, so good to take a taste of wine. As we join together, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Kari HaGavu. And we join together in Shehazianu, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Shehavianu, Bikiyomanu, Bikiyanu, Lazman, Hazel. All right, and as we conclude with a very special blessing, we are going to have Scarlet in the middle here. So it comes that way. All the grandparents may place a hand on her, and Jamie, if you'll make sure to get one on her too. Since this is a family and communal parental blessing. Put your hands on oh. All right, we're good. <laughs> May God bless you, Scarlet, and always watch over you. May God's light shine upon you, and may God be gracious to you. And may God's presence always surround you. And may you feel God's presence within you, and may that presence bring to you the gift of peace. And to that we all say, Amen. Amen. And we say, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. <laughs> 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 <laughs>